All right, and I am back at it again. Uh, this time, going back up to a local university that is close by to where we're based out of. Um, and they are pouring a small yard and a half wall, I believe. Um, and the purpose of it was so they could set a transformer down on top of a new location. They're moving it uh, something like 10 or 15 feet from left over to the right. I'm not sure why, but that's what they're doing. So, they needed a uh, footing and wall uh, for the transfer they sit on top of. The, uh, the way they had built it, it was all in one. So, simple, easy. I believe it was only a yard and a half. Let's just see how it goes. Uh, specifically where I'm going is actually probably almost all the way across campus from where I was before. Um, way up on top of a hill behind uh, some of the dorms. Um, and where I am actually there's also an obs observatory off to the right somewhere on top of a hill. So as you can see, their footing wall combo setup was uh, just a nice little perfect square. Um, they had uh, some thick plastic uh, covered over the top of the transformer opening, I guess. That's where all of the wire connections would come up from underneath. So they had a cover with a bunch of plastic so nothing got in there. They wanted me to mix it up about a 5 for them. Um, I was probably right at about a 5. Um, in reality, I probably could have made it a little bit wetter so it would, you know, flow down into the wall better. Um, but, you know, I gave them what they wanted and it worked out fine. So the way I was working this was similar to how you'd pour any wall um, if you're topping along a section of wall, just sort of let it pile up for a second then move down, pile it up for a second and move down, um, and then they'll tamp it down, consolidate it a little bit, and it'll match grade. If they need a little bit more, they'll pull it back for um, Anya or whatever. Uh, the trickiest part here is the fact that I was working all the way around the square all at once. The transitions from the corners and having to go from reverse to drive um, are tricky to time because you're going to sit there for a second while you have concrete coming down your chute. So, you know, it can take a, a little bit of maneuvering and feel to, to get it right, but, you know, it is what it is.
Okay. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, you could probably scrape the shoe and fill that up. I have discovered that a garden hoe is actually one of the best tools for scraping a shoot down. Go figure. So that was that on that one. Uh, just a quick little wall. Um, he ordered a yard and a half, uh, but I don't even think he really needed the yard and a half. I'm not sure how much I went, got sent back with, but that was that. Um, so make sure you uh, subscribe, uh, hit the like button, and uh, leave a comment down below. Always appreciated. And be sure to uh, like Bane is Concrete Service on both Facebook and Instagram. And I'll leave you with some of the sites of a wonderful town by the name of Amherst, Massachusetts.